Decentralized finance. Taking a loan against your Ethereum is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now, this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, please watch part one because that goes over the theory of what we can do and how what possibilities there are when taking a loan against your Ethereum. Now in part two, which is today's video, we are going to go through it step by step and we are going to actually take a loan against Ethereum. Good morning, everybody. Well, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to just take us over here to uh, coin market cap so that we can look at the coins that we're going to be dealing with. First of all, we're going to be looking at Maker. As you can see, it is number 23 and it is currently worth 493 US dollars. I'm just simply pointing this out. There's no, there's no reason to really um, worry about that right now. If we go down to DAI, we will see that DAI is, uh, I think I've scrolled past it, there it is. DAI is 58 and of course this is the stable coin that is back to one to one and it is worth one US dollar. As I said in the first part video, we're not going to go into the mechanics and how the decentralized contract and how the uh, MakerDAO platform keeps it one to one. But that is interesting. If you are interested, do some research on that. For now, all we have to know is that one die is worth one dollar. So if you have 15 Ethereum, as I said in the previous video, you can take a loan out for 10 Ethereum. And let's go through that process. The first thing you do is you go to makerdao.com and you get to their website and you can see uh, a whole lot of things you can read through the website, but we're going to get right into it. You go to products and you go to CDP portal. Now CDP stands for collateralized debt position. So we click on that. Now you're going to need to have a wallet that is on your computer. You can use a ledger, a Trezor, or MetaMask. I'm going to use MetaMask because it's the simplest and I've got it set up on my system. So we click through. Okay. Now it says open your collateralized debt position. So as you can see, it's a very easy user face to work with. You just simply click on open and it says how much ether, ether would you like to collateralize? So as you can see, because I've used MetaMask, um, I only have 2.3 ether. Let me just show you that just so you can get an idea of what MetaMask is. MetaMask is a plugin that you can use on Chrome. In this case, I'm using the Brave browser um, and it's a very nice wallet. It makes things easy um, when you're doing online payments or, you know, for crypto kitties, for a range of things where you might need to use your um, cryptocurrency, Decentraland, and there's many. As you can see, I've got 2.3 Ether. So I'm going to take out a loan for, I'm going to use two Ethereum as collateral. And how much DAI would I like? So DAI, how many dollars would I like? I'm going to take, I need about 1,500 Rand. So let's take $110. Okay, so it says generate your um, collateralized position. So we go there, it says when you open a CDP, um, the stability fee, 10.5%. Now in the first video, I did not talk about the stability fee. So let's just go through what that is. This loan is not for free. That is 10.5% per annum, which is a very competitive loan, especially when you're in South Africa. So 10.5% per annum, if you were lending 10,000 Rand, it would work out to about 87, 88 Rand per month just to give you an idea, to get some idea what that would be worth. So bearing in mind, you are going to have to pay back 10.5% per annum, depending on how long you keep this loan. That uh, interest can be paid back in either DAI or in Maker Coin. So if you don't have Maker and you don't want to buy Maker, you don't need to, you can simply use your DAI to pay that back. So I'm going to click Finalize. And of course, MetaMask, the wallet will open and it's going to ask for a couple of confirmations. It says, do you want to confirm? It's got a gas fee there. I'm going to say confirm. And it will now start to create the smart contract of your collateralized debt position. I love this interface because it gives you so many possibilities. You can... Take this money for the loan, use it. If you don't use all the money, you can pay back a 
portion. So let's say you pay back half, then you're only paying interest on the outstanding amount. So that's a very um, good way to do things. It gives you a lot of flexibility. You know, if you want to compare it to something, you could say it's an access bond. Okay, it's not really. And of course, this is not financial advice, but it's a nice, a nice analogy to make. And it's a nice way to consider it. So we're just going to wait for this to be processed and we're going to go through and then I'll be able to show you what you can do with that money. Remember that when you get your die, you still would need to sell that die. So you would have to be able to convert it into Bitcoin, put your Bitcoin into Altcoin Trader and withdraw the South African rands. Or you could use that die on any of the international exchanges to buy other coins or there's just a host of things that you can do with that die. So while we're waiting for this transaction to take place, I just want to highlight that decentralized finance is here, it's now. If you don't want to sell your crypto to buy something, you can take a loan against your crypto. And that, in my mind, is absolutely amazing. Just the ability to be able to take a loan. Remember, it's not an unsecured loan. You have to have money that you are loaning against. You have to have collateral, and that collateral has to be Ethereum. Let's wait and see when this process is completed, what the possibilities are. Okay, so the CDP has successfully been created. And it gives you a couple of options, but let's click OK. Let's go through this step by step. I now, in my MetaMask wallet, have 110 DAI, and that is obviously worth about 1,500 Rand, give or take. So if your loan gets to a point where you don't have enough collateral in your loan, your loan will be liquidated and you will be charged a 13% penalty in addition to the um, liquidation amount. So in other words, the smart contract will automatically sell your Ethereum to pay the debt. You have to be collateralized at 150% of your loan. So I hope that makes sense because it can be a reasonably tricky concept to grasp. But basically, if you have, um, if you've got 15 Ethereum and you've loaned 10 and the price of Ethereum starts to plummet and it falls and now you can no longer back um, the the loan with the 15 Ethereum, the smart contract will automatically um, sell your Ethereum to get you back to that position of 150%. And you will pay a 13% penalty, plus you will lose that portion of your collateral that's needed to get you back in line. So, as you can see, I'm currently collateralized at 325%, which is a very comfortable place. So I've provided a cushion in case the price of Ethereum does drop. I don't need to do anything. Just maybe keep an eye on this figure. But what it also allows, it also allows me to withdraw more um, die. So I could take more money out on this existing loan. So I can take out another 129 dollars worth of die. Also, if I found myself where I didn't actually need the money that I've withdrawn, I could pay back some of the money. And by doing that, I would just click here, I'll type in the amount that I wanted to pay back and simply do that. Obviously paying back less interest because the capital that's outstanding is less. I mentioned earlier that you don't need to have MakerCoin to uh, participate in these loans. You can say here, um, pay the stability fee with die. So it's a very, very flexible system, a lovely interface. You can do a lot. If you wanted to move your loan, you can do that. You can move it because remember this loan or the smart contract is based on an Ethereum address that you own. You can close your position. In other words, get your Ethereum back. I will get my two Ethereum back after I had paid my, my die back, so in this case it's 110 die, I would also have to pay back the interest on the loan. And I could do that by just pushing the close button, saying I want to pay everything with die and pushing close. My 
um, MetaMask wallet would take care of everything. There's a couple of transactions that you have to go through and it will return everything back. You will have only lost the gas fees and of course the interest on the loan. So once you've got that die, as I have right now, I've got 110 die in my wallet. And maybe I now want to use that for a real world scenario. One of the sites that I like to use is KyberSwap. So KyberSwap is a really easy way to swap one coin for another coin without registering, without going through a big process. So I would simply swap my die, which is I've got 110 for that amount of Ethereum. You click the swap button and this will all go into your MetaMask. I would then send the Ethereum to Altcoin Trader, sell it on the exchange. I would also make a bit of a profit because Ethereum is a little bit more on Altcoin Trader because it's more in South Africa in general. And then I would withdraw those rands to my bank account and spend the money on whatever I needed to do. If you guys have got any questions on this process, if you find this fascinating as I do, the ability to loan against your cryptocurrency at this stage only Ethereum, if decentralized finance is something that excites you and really shows you what the future is going to be, subscribe to my channel guys, I'd appreciate it. I'm out.